Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC experts here at Rise Hobby. I'm your host, Brian Brooker. Today we're going to talk about what steps you need to take to swap out the ESC and Servo on your Arma 3S platform. First, let's start by swapping out the Servo. There's a few tools we need to have before we get started. You need a 2 millimeter wrench or a speed wrench. And also, you need to make sure you have the correct Servo horn for the Servo you're replacing with. Let's get started. First thing we'll need to do before we get started is remove the servo and ESC mount from the chassis. By doing so, you'll remove the four screws underneath the chassis, which are indicated by the little dimple on the chassis itself, which is kind of cool by Arma. And then also remove the servo horn from the bell crank as well. So we'll get those removed, and then we'll have access to the ESC and servo. Once you have that loose, go to remove the ESC wires from the motor. We'll go and move the truck out of the way. Once you have the servo and ESC mount out of the vehicle, now it's time to gain access to the servo itself. To do so, you need to remove the receiver box cover, which is being held on by two screws that hold the ESC in place. Once you have that off and out of the way, they'll gain access to all four screws that hold the servo down. And then you'll want to also remove the screw that holds the servo saver in place as well. So let's get all the screws out. So once you have all the screws out, you'll remove the servo saver off the servo itself. Pull the servo out, unhook it from the clip on the side of the mount. We'll pull out a little rubber boot, we'll get out of the way. Once you have the old servo out, now it's time to install the new servo. Again, when you're replacing your servo, make sure you have the correct servo saver, uh, just in case the teeth changed on the spline, so make sure you have the correct one there. You'll go ahead and put the servo lead in the little holder on the side of the, the mount. Run the servo lead through the rubber boot on the side of the receiver box. Go ahead and put the servo in place. We're going to put some screws in the servo to hold it in place here. Again, when you're plugging the servo in, make sure you have the right polarity and also in channel one as well. Once you have that plugged in, now it's time to button everything up. Let's go ahead and put the screws that mount the servo in place and also the receiver box, and we'll do the servo horn last. Once you have everything tightened up, now it's time to put the servo saver on. One cool little feature Arma has on the bottom of the receiver box is a little indication to show you how to line everything up correctly with your servo saver and also reminds you to make sure everything's neutral on your trim as well. So go ahead and put your servo saver on. There you go, that's installed. Now everything is installed correctly, now it's time to put it back in the truck. There you go, that's how quick and easy it is to switch out the servo on your Arma 3S platform. Now I'll show you how to swap out the ESC. You'll need a two millimeter wrench or a two millimeter speed driver. You'll have to remove three screws, two that hold the ESC down and also one that holds the actual switch down as well. So we'll go remove all three of those real quick.
Once you have those removed, you'll unhook the wires from the motor itself. Remove the receiver box cover. Unhook the ESC from the receiver. So when it comes to plugging your new ESC, make sure you have it in the correct channel on the receiver, which will be a channel two, and make sure the polarity is correct as well. So get everything plugged in. Now go ahead and put everything through the little rubber boot to keep everything watertight. Once you have that, you'll put your receiver box cover lid back on. Put your ESC back on top there. You'll install the two screws that you previously took out. You'll put your switch back to the top of the receiver box as well. Once you have that, you'll plug your motor wires in. And plug them in the correct location as well. So for this, it's yellow to yellow, orange to orange, and blue to blue. So once you have all that done, now it's time to program your ESC. So make sure you calibrate your ESC to your transmitter. So once you have that, you're good to go. But that's how quick and easy it is to actually swap out the ESC on your Arma 3S platform. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more helpful videos from our RC experts here at Horizon Hobby.